Ford just increased pricing for its cheapest Lightning offerings by $5,000 and $10,000 for this version. If you remember not a long time ago, Ford cut production by about 50% and now they are increasing prices. Uh, uh, did they want to sell these trucks? All right, we have an update on the lithium refinery in Texas. Tesla senior manager of operations said in October of last year, we will begin commissioning the assets roughly the first of next year. They will start ramping up production the latter half of next year. So yeah, progress is definitely being made here. We now have the wholesale number from China, which includes local sales within China and exports, and it is 94,000 for December. December had the highest wholesale number. The second highest number was in June at 93,680. And huge exports continue from Giga Shanghai. We were supposed to get this number yesterday, but for some reason we didn't. But here it is now. Last week's deliveries in China were pretty strong, coming in at 15,800. And the last quarter was by far the best quarter within China, with 173,000 deliveries roughly. The next quarter, Q1, is going to be a bit tougher because, first of all, February has fewer days than most months. And then, second of all, in China, the Chinese New Year, ooh everything stops for one or two weeks. So while another record in China is certainly possible, it's just gonna be a bit more difficult. We have a Giga Texas and Giga Berlin run rate production updates from Troy. Giga Texas Model Y production run rate is 160,000 per year. They can increase this to 500,000 per year, but they need more US made batteries and more demand in the US. Giga Berlin's run rate is 200,000 per year. They can do 375,000, but they need either more demand in Europe or fewer imports from China, says Troy. And he elaborates further, the plan for Giga Berlin's full capacity was 500,000 per year with four crews working 40 hours per week each, but Tesla decided that night shifts were too costly in Germany, so they reduced it to three crews. Therefore, full capacity will be 375,000 per year. Currently, they have two crews. Troy also updated his production table for 2023 and he estimates that Tesla produced 1.246 million Model Ys and uh, a little bit over 500,000 Model 3s as well as 270 Cybertrucks. Phil just mentioned 2.3 million are you going to be towards the high end in terms of what you expect them to deliver this year? Yeah, I think Whisper expectations could be higher. Look, this was this was a strong, strong result. You look what's happening in China. There were fears there, and it was actually a source of strength. We think a record quarter in China. So I do think this is an important, I think, sign that demand's actually strengthening for Tesla. It continues to be maybe EV demand softened, but not Tesla demand. And that's the important thing going into 24. Yeah, how do you, but how, where is that line? Why is that the case then? And in particular in China, where BYD is such a strong competitor, are they going to be able to maintain their market share? Yeah, BYD has done a phenomenal job, but I, I do think if you look in the driver's seat, it's Tesla and BYD gain some net share from NEO and others. And in China, especially if you look at the last few quarters, there were fears that this price war was going to continue. It actually hasn't. See, now, to Phil's point, you're seeing price stabilization. That, that, that's very important because now the Goldilocks scenario, margins upticking, demand upticking. That's where, in our opinion, you see a trillion-dollar mark cap for Tesla over the next year, despite many of the haters continuing to hate. Farzad does make a point that we should think about here. Folks thinking BYD overtaking Tesla in 2024 is bad for Tesla are about as blind as it gets. BYD's success proves that there is large global demand for EVs. With their best-in-class margins not even close, Tesla will make boatloads of money for years to come. Let's also remember that BYD's margins include hybrids, and it's easier to make profits from hybrids than pure battery electric vehicles.